Hi, this is Danny from Game Theory College Planners. I was planning on recording a walk and talk for you today, but as you can see, that's not going to happen. So we'll do a sit and talk out of my garage. But well, I did want to get a message out there pretty quickly because there is a, a theme that's really making its way around the college planning world and higher ed world. And what's, what's really dominating the news cycle is as a result of COVID-19, more and more colleges are going test score optional. And I wanted to talk about that because it seems like whenever someone announces a college went test score optional, there's a lot of cheers, there's a lot of uh, woo-hoos. And I will be the first to admit that I don't think students should be reduced to a test score. Uh, they shouldn't be reduced to what's just on the transcript. Um, that's why we think social media is such an important component of the planning process. Um, but I will tell you that it's really important to understand the message that the college is really getting out there. Test scores are optional. It does not mean that colleges will no longer look at them. It's they're making it an option as part of the admissions process. And from an earlier vlog or podcast, I've always said that here at Game Theory, it's not just about getting on the plane, it's about making it to the destination. So we tend to be really fixated on how do we get into that school. And in our world, when it comes to admissions, we believe that two things really need to happen. Um, unless you've got a lot of zeros in your bank account, the last time I checked, not only do you have to get into a college, you've got to be able to afford that college. You've got to get paid to go there. And the question is, will colleges pay merit scholarships without a test score? Um, I belong to um, a private Facebook group uh, with thousands of members from uh, educational consultants to actual representatives from colleges and I posted the question over two weeks ago are there any colleges or anyone out there that knows if colleges will still pay merit scholarships without test scores and it's been over two weeks and I've gotten zero responses so if there's anyone listening to this vlog if anyone out there knows differently please comment below but I think colleges I'd like to see test scores go away, but colleges need some type of measurement to determine which students get merit scholarships and which ones don't. And if we're going to go off GPA, that's even more suggestive. That's even more subjective than a test score, because we all know that a 4.0 at Milton High School isn't the same thing as a 3.5 at a Walton. And test scores can be very subjective. So then who's going to get the merit scholarship? Is it the student that has five extracurriculars as opposed to the student that has two? Um, so I think even the UC system made a lot of noise when they said that they were doing away with the SAT and ACT and going test score optional. But did you know in about three years they plan on launching their own admissions test? So I, I don't know how that's going to be much different than the SAT and the ACT. So I'll leave a link below. Um, there's certainly a time and a place for using a strategy when we're not going to use a test score to apply to a college. Uh, but I'll leave a link below to fairtest.org. It's the resource that I use when looking at colleges that are going test score optional. And I think when I started looking at this list, it started out with 300 colleges. I think that list is probably close to 1,000 now. And college is going test score optional is a trend that certainly started before COVID-19 took place. It seems that with COVID-19 and with all these testing delays and testing cancellations, it's probably accelerated this trend a little bit. But again, um, I think colleges at some point in time are still going to need to rely on these tests as some type of benchmark as to who gets merit scholarships. And, and without a test score, I think getting a merit scholarship, it's gonna be even murkier still. 
I think for families with low EFCs, they can still benefit from colleges that are need blind or that pay need based aid only. Uh, but I think for most of us, especially with the tenant testing ramping up again in August and September, if you are a 2021 grad, I would still encourage you to study and take the SAT or ACT. Um, I've always recommended to chase one of the tests instead of both. We always probably want to chase the test that we're actually stronger on. So I'll leave a link below to SAT, ACT Diagnostic. It's a tool that we use that will help students determine which tests they're stronger on. And let's, let's try to get these test scores. These colleges may say they're optional. I'm just not buying it that it's something that they're going to stop looking at. So I may be wrong. Um, COVID-19 and what's going on in the world right now, it's, it seems to be an unprecedented. But based on the things that I'm seeing, based on my experience, I just don't know if I would abandon the SAT or ACT just yet. And I think it would be better to have a score and not need it rather than need a score and not have one. So looks like the day rains died down a little bit. Um, but again, this is Danny with Game Theory College Planners giving you my two cents on the, on the uh, test score optional bandwagon that we're seeing right now. And uh, please comment below if you have any questions. Uh, so y'all take care and we'll have another vlog up for you very soon. Thank you.